Hi, welcome back to another episode of Jakar's Imperialigent Playthrough. I'm Slicka, and let's get at it. So you may have noticed I already landed on Alderaan. I kind of went ahead and did that and then picked up all three flight points. New, new abilities, all that, so... I haven't picked up any quests yet, but the only codex, that, location codex that you don't see actually here is Camo's territory, because I already have it since I walked out of the spaceport. So, uh, let's continue on. Welcome, sir. I bring the good wishes of Moff Sarek, the officer entrusted with annexing this planet. He has been anticipating your arrival. I am at his service. Good day, sir. Your services to the Empire are well known. To those with the proper clearance. I expect to care little for the niceties of politics here, so I will be brief. The Empire intends to use Alderaan's succession struggle to bring it into the fold, and I'm offering you the opportunity to play a pivotal role. I'll need details before I put my neck on the line. The heir to Alderaan's throne was recently assassinated, right after withdrawing from the protection of the Republic. The planet's in civil war, and for the first time in thousands of years, without the armies of the Republic to bring order. A divided world will fall quickly. Yes. We must make our move now, while the throne stands empty. We have an alliance with one of the noble houses, House Full. The house was exiled 60 years ago after a failed bid for power, and came to us instead. Unfortunately, they have proven too weak to do what's needed. Do they need the fear of the Emperor put into them? Yes. Jorad, one of the Thug Lords, insists on following Alderaan's rules of civilized warfare. I want you to show him warfare is far from civil. Several of Thal's vassal houses have rebelled since Thal's connection to us became public. This cannot be allowed. Take a slave collar from my man here and drag one of these rebels to our weak-willed Lord Thal. Kill the rest and leave them where they fall. These Alderaan lordlings will beg to serve the Empire. These lords of Alderaan must lose their foolish pride. Those who will not bow must break. Oh, interesting. So we're trying to take Alderaan by force, and in order to do that, we need to show the, all these lords and nobles that we're not messing around. So before we go up to meet Vector Hillis, our class to request, let's go. Welcome. Select an available travel route. Have a to the full dual uh, palace and collect one of these nobles. Honoran is a beautiful, lush planet full of mountains, uh, greenery, trees, snow. One of the better plants to look at, um, especially compared to what we've been seeing with deserts, cities, and well, slums more than cities, and uh, a war-torn planet. I seem to have outdone myself, Master. I think you'll be quite pleased. I was just wondering what I could do to please you.
half an hour to take this guy to uh, Dole. That's kind of funny. That was pretty easy. We just walked up to a uh, to a uh, Rebellion Noble and just threw the shot color on him. What is who? Uh, Crimar! Is that Crimar Noven? That's a free nobleman of Alderaan. Unhand him. Who are you? W what, what's this about? <gasps> Next time, do your own dirty work. I, I, I told Moff Sarek that this was an internal problem. Um... All of Alderaan will be thrown into chains because of you. Silence, slave. The sooner you see reason, the easier it'll be. I, I've said before that being too harsh might stir greater rebellion. Though, of course, that's, uh, that's up to you. I believe that is up to me. Uh, sir... This spineless toad will make a poor Lord of Alderaan. Yes. It will take work to shape him. I hope you will undertake this for me. I would like to make you the voice of the Empire in House Thor. Aid Jorad and his men in crushing resistance to our rule. Obey her as you would me, and with the same penalty for defiance. Tell her what must be done to secure Thal's hold on Alderaan. Yes, sir. Uh, my lady. What happens next? I suppose the Moth expects us to take on House Organa. They're one of our oldest noble houses and loyal to the Republic. Until recently, they've been without an army, but they've got supporters all over the planet, uh, including here. You'll never find them. They've got top of the line cloaking better than anything the Empire makes. No probes will get through, no spy sats, nothing. You really are an idiot. House Organa denied raising an army, claiming it's just patriots defending their lands. But their attacks are too organized. We'll never find every group. We need to get inside their planet-wide communications, and that means finding a base with a physical link to slice into. I have some expertise at finding things people don't wish found. You're a bloodhound, a vicious dog of the Empire. Silence! If you stand with the Organas, you betray a thousand years of loyalty. The Organa guerrillas have a base hidden in some cave or other natural camouflage. There should be a master comlink there, guarded by their best soldiers. If you insert this computer spike, it'll give us a backdoor into all their communications. If we slice into their command center, we can avoid falling into any traps. House Organa will not make another move without us knowing. All right, so let's continue. So Alderaan is probably, I'd, I'd go as far as to say that it's probably the biggest planet we've been on. I'll just show the entire map. So. Probably have to wait until we're outside and stopped. I think I can show you guys. Alright, so the Camos territory, up around here where I'm circling my cursor, is probably where we're going to be for the first area. Up here is the Imperial uh, Heroic uh, Bonus Ears, the Alderaan Bonus Ears for the Imperial side. Now, here 
It's probably the second area, the Jiren Mountains. We can run into Republic players there. The uh, next part that we'd probably be in is the Glarus Valley, which is right around here. That's the final part where we'll be for as an Imperial. Apellus Coast, a lot uh, El Sac and Lowlands. Or Republic areas, like that's where they have their quests. King's Pass is their bonus series area. So it's a big planet. Which you will see. Now, uh, what I'm going to do real quick is run up here and pick up the one quest here, and then I'm going to head out to meet with uh, Vector Hillis. So we can continue on in our area. So, Alderaan's full of politics. We're going to deal with a lot of houses. Um, one big one we'll deal with is House Wrist. Imagine leaving your home for a sojourn into the galaxy. When you return, you find the manor infested. The wood is rotten and wriggling. Beetles carpet floors you raced across as a child and maggots drop in tangled clumps onto your head. This is what House Thule must contend with, an infestation of vermin. The Killix, insectoid aliens here on Alderaan. They're causing problems. Yes, barely intelligent things. It's the nobility's obligation to contain the swarms underground. Unchecked, they are ravaging this planet turning palaces into hives and cocooning the survivors. Generations caught in the mandibles of beasts. You sound a little scared. Legend has it Killix once ruled the planet. Supposedly most flew to the stars, but how many remained in hibernation? House Organa has been neglecting their responsibilities against the vermin. But even they carry defenses against Killick hunting parties. If you could seize the Organa toxins and poison the Killick hives, well, the Killicks will swarm, and the other houses must defend themselves and do their part. That's not a bad idea. We will all war against the Killicks, and Thule will save this planet from infestation. Alright, so one thing I picked up uh, in chat up there is there's a 50 to 55. 50 and 55 running around uh, a Tolerant Outpost. Don't worry, we won't be going to that in this episode. A Tolerant Outpost is right around here. Um, I'm not even sure if we'll finish the Kamos territory. So. There's a, uh, there's a lot to deal with in this area. Alright, so we get to run into a cave. So these are the Killix. As you see, there's one down there. I'm trying to find one standing. There's one standing. See, like I said, they're about two to three meters tall. Giant bugs, and here's Vector. Yes, this is the one as the song schedule determined. I can't wait to see how this goes. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboro Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. Do you guys remember there's the black pupils that proves that their uh, mind is joined within the hive, and the way he speaks, you'll see it's different. Cypher 9. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Of course. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest, forge a bond between Empire and Killix. The change is a small price. Being transformed doesn't bother you. It was unexpected, but now... I'm part of the kind. I hear the song of the universe. It's a magnificent thing. Yes, as to your target, 
Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. Do you have an ID on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Thule. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. I appreciate the advice. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire. Show strength, and don't mention your intelligence connections. Alright, so that's Vector Hillis. Um, one thing you might have picked up on if any of you have ever played Mass Effect and dealt with the Rachni, I find that the Killicks are pretty similar, speaking about the songs of the universe and all that. Speaking through people. The only difference is the Rachni used corpses to speak, whereas the Killix control you while you're still alive, so to speak, with this joint. So we're going to head to where House Cortez is first. I know we'll probably end up coming down here for a quest after doing these ones, but I want to see if I can get the uh, class quest done in each episode uh, in the area we're in, even if we come back and have to do maybe one or two more quests in the next episode. So looks like our target is met with many houses. One of them being House Cortez, which is close to us. We're going to try and see if House Cortez will give us information on this target. According to Vector, he suggests that we prove our strength to House Cortez as an agent of the Empire, but we do not prove we are, or show that we have intelligence ties. More of a proof that we're just a soldier, so to speak, is what Vector prefers. And I can agree with what he's saying. Like, it's not a bad idea. Now what's nice, because we will come back here multiple times, is there is a flight point here. Teos Cortez. Destination? We are the only agent that gets to, uh, sorry, the only class that gets to come into House Cortez. Some of the other classes deal with different houses. Everyone deals with House Full, Thule or House Organa because uh, that's the world quest arc. Fighting uh, House Ugo, which is in relation to Trask Ugo, if you played Knights of the Old Republic. First guy you meet in the game, he's related to this house. And, uh, which you can even see in the uniform and the face. Hold your guard. In the name of Baron Payar Cortes and the Cortes Barony, I demand you state your business or face expulsion. My business is my own. Get these thugs out of my way. Huh. Imperial arrogance. I thought your people... <laughs> Do you doubt a servant of the Empire might visit us, Captain? We're supposed to be allies, after all. I'm sorry, my lady. I'm merely surprised. As for you, I am Baroness Che Cortes. Please forgive our lack of hospitality, but my husband has no time for visitors. I believe he'll want to speak to me. It's a matter of life and death. Aren't they all, though? Some days ago, we lost a squad of battle droids patrolling the borders of Cortes lands. That squad was our first line of defense. We believe the squad's disappearance may presage an attack, yet not one of our allies has come to our aid. That explains a great deal. You have my sympathies, Baroness. I'm not looking for sympathy. We don't know what destroyed our droids. They went silent. Until we find out, we must prepare for the worst. If you wish to make amends, send your troops to determine the fate of our patrol. Perhaps that will make my Baron smile again. 
Of course. I'll send a legion of my best men. I'll leave you to Captain Perovius. I hope to see you under better circumstances. <laughs> if your troops find them, tell them to activate the squad's homing beacon. Perhaps the data logs will help us. Alright, time to send out my troop. I didn't realize you can uh, just drive in here. So now we have to prove our worth. Um, in the area. There, hopefully we'll find clues as to why the uh, droids were disabled. So, I believe there's a heroic four quest in this area. Area four quest. Just put your scene over here, there. This area. I oh, remember where all these crops are. Let's pick this up since we happen to be here. I'm here. Yes, there's the heroic area. Alright, so there are mountainous areas. We're gonna have to get around these mountains real quick. Lots of snow. It looks like there are killicks in the area. Oh my, yeah, they're killick hives. <laughs> so we'll have to kill these guys a lot. In fact, the agent is the only one who actually kind of works with the killicks, as far as I know. And that's only because of that. <laughs> Which is remarkable how he has so much uh, lead with. <laughs> free will uh, as a slave. Alright, here's all the destroyed droids. All right, activated. This is Captain Perovius. It's good to see you again. I'm impressed that you conducted the search personally. We're receiving the droid's logs now. You have my thanks. I don't send others to do my dirty work, and I get the job done. Maybe I underestimated you. I apologize. At any rate, these logs are discouraging. The droids skirmish with the Killix. Blasted bugs are on Cortez lands again. I ran into a few more on my way here. Figures as much. Rumor has it that the Killick nest is growing. Probably scouting for a new home. I'll make sure the Baron knows. Those things won't build a new hive in Cortez territory. I'll tell you that. I'm sure the Killix will get your message. Indeed. In the meantime, I have a message for you. The Baroness is offering you an invitation to the estate. You may return at your leisure. If I had to speed up, let's just port back to House Cortez. So I remember uh, one time, uh, since I was doing all the heroic quests with the bounty hunter on each planet, with uh, Thesis. When we landed with our Sith Inquisitor and Bounty Hunter on Alderaan, we literally just did our class quest because there was no, uh, no reason to do the other quests when we were like level 30, 31. 
we're getting to 32 just by doing our class quests. And uh, remember one time, I think it was Ald uh, happens to have a bounty hunter and Sif Inquisitor class quest we ran into. And we ran into a level 40 Jedi Sentinel. And we're like level 30 and we're trying to fight our way um, past him and everything. Well, he's jumping us and even though we almost died, both of us, we actually managed to survive. The Baron is expecting kill him. you. This way, please. Our guest has arrived, my lord. Baron Payar Cortes, Sword of the Castle Lands, I hereby present to you the honorable emissary of the Sith Empire. This woman risked herself in the service of House Cortes, valiantly recovering our lost patrol and identifying the Killick threat. In appreciation of her noble deeds and out of respect for her accomplishments, I ask that you grant her recognition. I so grant her recognition. I am Baron Payar Cortes, my lady. Welcome to my home. Allow me to present Kaleo Janus, my loyal and trusted associate. Such an exotic young woman. How is it you come to be here? I slid out of Mama's womb and picked up a blaster. Now I'm your new friend's bodyguard. Of course, you and me could be friends too. You got a nice place here. I could stick around a while. Baron? You are an intriguing creature, I admit. Hear what he said? That was sweet. With those manners, you could be royalty. I could welcome people just like the Baroness. I hope I didn't give the wrong impression at the gates. I, I just take the security of my house very seriously. One of few things she does, along with her gardens and her act dogs. You'll make me blush, my lord. Tell me now, why do you seek my house? Is there a favor you would ask? An alliance you'd propose? This data describes someone who interests me. Take a look. I don't know what I'm looking for, but very well. Ah, I see a visitor to my house. I believe the guest you're looking for is Master Dendry Ale. We've hosted him and his summits on a number of occasions. Tell me where to find this man. Ah, well, it may not be so easy as that. Denry Ale was once Lord Denry Ale, a powerful and respected man among the vassal houses. But some years ago, he abdicated his position. He became a mediator dedicated to forging peace. Strange you should ask about him now. For several weeks, Denry Ale has been missing. Whether off on some secret negotiation or something more regrettable, no one knows. Isn't anyone trying to find him? Not that I'm aware of. One missing man in all this chaos. But it bears investigation. I'll begin looking into Ail's whereabouts through formal and informal diplomatic channels. If I can find him for you, I will. You may also wish to investigate the matter yourself. I'm sure the Empire has contacts who can assist. You'll let me know if you find anything. Of course. I'll send a message immediately. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay as a guest. House Cortes prides itself on its hospitality. We'll have to dine together. You can meet the Ack Dogs. The Baron has spoken. This audience is at an end. All right, so... That was interesting. Time to return to Vector. So, for the most part, we, after discovering why the Killix destroyed uh, their droids, we were granted an audience and we're now looking for a man named Dendry Ale who's gone missing. Missing probably isn't the word I would use, he's probably more or less gone into hiding. 
So we need to keep track of that. Um, now it's time to return to Vector Hillis with the information we've gathered. Destination? Let's just, uh, take a shuttle back up towards where he is. And then we can continue on the quest in the, with the quest in this area. Um, one thing I have been doing and will be doing from now on is every time I, my companions have a conversation option, I'll actually be doing that outside of the uh, playthrough and I'm taping it so you guys can see a collection of all the conversation you can possibly have with that companion so Khalil's quest I'll count that as a conversation piece and land on our shot at some point and just do it so It'll probably be in between planets when I decide to do that. Since it's just landing on our Shada. Um, so, out of all the characters you've seen, who do you think will be our next companion? In fact, you guys might have even saw it. Just me looking at, uh... My legacy for achievements under the aging command. It's just because I saw Khalil hit a thousand, uh... Is it me, or are there more bugs than last time? Welcome back. Your aura reflects your attunement to the great song. Vector, good to see you again, too. Our observers saw you enter the Cortez estate. The Fingerlings were listening and heard mention of Denry Ale. We met Ale during our time as ambassador. With his wealth and talent, he could be your target. The Baron claims not to know his whereabouts. We might be able to help. Our nest has had many joiners over the years. Soldiers, children, nobles. We can search their memories and see what they know of Denry Ale. Let's see what you come up with. We remember Pabal Alder. When her speeder crashed, our foragers brought her to the hive. Our healers tended her. We became one. Her house, House Alder, an old house of scholars and antiquarians, granted Ale residence in honor of his work as a mediator. Ale kept records of his work in the older estate. If you can penetrate the estate's defenses, those records are yours. I've never seen anything quite like that. We live to serve. House Alder opposes the Empire, and the estate is always prepared for an Imperial attack, even a stealthy one. Be careful. Alright, so we got bracers, completed that quest. So, this is a little bit unique. Um, what you guys just saw. As you saw, they have the ability to search the memories of all the joiners. Well, even someone who gets into an accident looks like they're going to die. They'll actually save and make them become a joiner. So I guess this girl who was part of House Alda um, was just manipulated and transformed into a joiner and they just searched her memories after she had a speeder bike accident. So they saved her life but at a price. You're one of them now. So let's, uh, let's deal with the Killick problem and Infiltrate the gorilla, the gorilla base. So the next job is to head to House Alda in our class quest and locate Denriel's records. It's a it's a house with a bunch of.
with a bunch of scholars and all that as they mentioned so big deal all right so right now we need to look for a killick poison dispenser Quickly just gonna kind of sneak in there. Now let's head back to deal with the Killix. You need to steal Killick poison. So let's do that. <laughs> Just make sure I know what I'm doing. So we actually have to kill girl like poor forces for this poison. So we're out there for no reason, so let's do it. <laughs> Looks like it might even be the operatives who special. Let's uh heal up and let's go kill one more operative to get some uh some killer poison. This one over here, so let's do it. Alright, so now we just need to poison some Killick. Now unfortunately poisoning the hives are at, is actually back where uh, our quest was with his quartet. So, that's unfortunate. It's been a long time since I've done Alderaan, so... Stuff like this is expected.
The goal here is just basically infiltrate the base. These things are easy to kill, it looks like. I've had a one too. So we're gonna start dealing with Jet on a regular basis too. As we continue on here. Just move on. Impressive work. You can see we now have access to the Organa systems. They're all talking about the, uh, the ruthlessness and brutality of the recent attack. They, uh, they do train you Imperials well, don't they? Tell me you're not going to cry. Moff Sarek told me to respect you, not to submit to schoolyard taunts. Now that we can monitor the Organa's communications, it should be possible to... Lord Thul! The base is under attack. Send aid quickly. Border outpost 2 under attack. I repeat, under attack. Perimeter defense is breached. We're under attack by assault droids. Repeat, a coordinated attack by probe and assault droids. Blood of the Queen. Sounds like you need a little Imperial support right now. Yes. Show those backbiters that the Empire stands behind House Thule. The data says all three border posts are under attack. Looks like a coordinated effort. Hunter killers and probes. All I've got out there is a skeleton crew. You're the only one close enough to reach them in time. Please, save my bases and bring me the memory cores from any probes you destroy. I want to know who's behind this. Good luck. I'll bring you the heads of those droids and their master. Thank you. Now hurry! All right. Bye. 
you know, close there to to me. All right, so we are pushing the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can finish these two quests real quick. Not sure uh, if I'll be able to get them done fast enough. But I think that's what I'll end up trying to do is finish these two quests. Maybe do the cutscene and call it an episode. This may be the longest episode to date if I finish these two quests. Um... Looks like Clay's getting some stuff. So there's more to the Kamos territory than these quests, so we are definitely not even uh Close to being done, camo character. Well, I wouldn't say close. It, it'd definitely be done in the next episode. Maybe <laughs> be in the journey. Mountains in the next episode. Oh, maybe not. There's even a quest here. I have no idea if that is the... So I might not be able to get it done. No, I didn't even realize there was a quest here. This might be heroic only, though. Burn every farmhouse. I want every traitor smoked out. Every sympathizer weeping. We'll finish this later, dismissed. Yes, my lord. Ah, welcome to Alderaan. I'm Duke Keldus of the Vibrant Thoughts. You've eaten, I trust? Seen the palace? Hunted some game? But that's not why you're here. I imagine the question of House Lenar's pirates has come up, and you want an answer. Naturally, I'm interested to hear your version of the events. A shrewd and diplomatic answer. When House Thor returned to Alderaan, our vassal House Lenar turned on us. We had to sanction their leaders. But the Lenars became martyrs, and their house soldiers turned to piracy. Their attacks earned them a reputation for heroism. Heroes can die. The hope of the rabble will follow. Overconfidence was the downfall of three of my ships. We no longer attacked them at sea. I put a sizable bounty on the pirates and doubled it for the populist traitors who coordinate them from the land. Yet the people, even the starving ones, refuse to do the honorable thing and alert us to the meeting places. If a fugitive was sipping tea in your palace vault, I'd still sniff him out. Given how elusive these so-called heroes are, that's not such a stretch. Our intelligence says the Lenars come ashore on the beach not far from here. No doubt they will be lying in wait for a target. Alright, it's definitely a uh, heroic four. I figured that it out. I uh, talked to him, spoke to him.
Alright, so let's move on. So the memory cores, I'm just going to jump between all of them because there will be droids around every single area. So yes, definitely the Camo's territory will be finished next episode. Should be able to complete it and start the Jern Mountains. As you have all seen recently. Um, I get to poison them with a poison launcher. The operative, as you guys have been able to see, going right after these Killix uh, and Kaleo. I'm really able to not really stop. And you and her getting low on health are going to go there. And this isn't even healing. I'm able to keep up. Did not even stop. That was pretty good. So now I gotta make my way to the next two. Like I said, I will push it where this will be the longest episode to date, most likely.
What a way to just charge in there and kick some butt. So right across this lake and all that, that's a level 40 area. In fact, as you can see, level 40s. That is what the level you need to do the bonus series. The three plants that have bonus series are four plants that have bonus series that seem to jump in level where you won't be able to do them when you leave the planet are uh, Narshida, Alderaan, Hoff, and Belsavis respectively. And I knifed them all. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Alright, three more and that should end the quest here. Alright, so let's port back to House Thule. Speak to Ryland Stalus and Lord Gerard Thule, and that will be an episode. The Killick Hives have been poisoned. They'll swarm soon. And the noble houses must accept their obligation to combat them, thanks to Thule leadership. In another life, you would have made a fine royal guardian of the mountains. Um, okay. So instead of taking the shuttle port, because there's three areas as you see, four all near each other, I'm just going to drive back because it'd take basically the same amount of time to click there, land, and then run in. So some bounty hunters are around. I cannot thank you enough for your quick work. I don't know what the Organas were after, but that attack was long in the planning. I'm very good at my work. Up Sarek has still not told me your position. But I owe you my secrets and my lands. Who's the source of these? What were they looking for? And quickly! The programming signatures point to Lord Cedric Kilesa. Lord Kilesa is my vassal. He swore loyalty to me personally when we returned from exile. Don't be stupid. The 
Parameters indicate the probes were to join an assault team in a... My lord, this program indicates an assault team massing in a tunnel between here and the Kalisa Estates. I don't find any such tunnel on the blueprint. The siege tunnel! Blood of a queen! They're, they're coming through the siege tunnel! Those attacks were meant to draw your guards away from the palace. The wretched traitor! That tunnel connects his lands directly to our estates. No one's used it in centuries, but the, the, the tunnel opens right under this room. What are we going to do? I'll be stained with blood from head to toe. I would not have guessed your bloodlust would come in so handy. Moff Sarek gave us cartons of thermite explosives. They take time to set up, but they, they pack a punch. If you take them into the siege tunnel, you can collapse it on Cedric and his army. Seal the access, so they can't threaten us again. Let's get this done. I don't know what I'd do without you here. There's an entrance to the tunnel nearby. The storeroom is in the same area. I'll recall my troops to defend the surface, but there's no doubt the real battle will be below. Thank you. Alright, so that's an episode. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and good luck. Next time we will save House Thor.